Hi, I'm Anna and I'm here at the workshop for the Best Practice Group. Best Practice is a business that empowers you to achieve your business goals, whether it be a small franchise, starting up company, or as someone who's just graduated looking for the next best thing, this is the Harvard of Business School Education. Head, head online to www.bpprogram.com.au to find out how you can acquire Ferrari business skills. And I'm here with Neil Kopp from Sphere Accountants and Advisors. How are you today? Oh, I'm pretty good, thanks. Now, life is a numbers game. Tell us a little bit about how you got into the accounting business. Oh, I had a good teacher many years ago when I was very much younger uh, who decided that uh, I was not going to be a farmer, uh, which is what the rest of my family was, um, and that I was pretty good at numbers, so accounting was something that I could enjoy. Now, he showed me some stuff at school and I was actually pretty good at it and quite enjoyed it. So that's that's where it started from. So tell us about Sphere. Um, is it, You mentioned it's a one-stop shop. Tell us a little bit about what you offer. Uh, Sphere is obviously the traditional accounting and advisory service. We do the tax and the advice and management accounting. We run board meetings with clients and things like that. But we've also brought in uh, some financial planning. We've got insurance. We've got a, a lending company that does mortgages and, and lending for our clients. Now we've got a bookkeeping service that runs uh, our clients' books if they want or don't even have to be our clients' books. We just run other uh business returns for people and we've also just sort of started up a small inbound marketing company just to help clients to think about their marketing and their web work and just to try and bring some of the information that we learn from best practice but also other sources of life to our clients to try and say that hey marketing's kind of important you guys need to think about this and get them to work with us. So you work with social media as, as well as accounting to to give that overall business strategy? Yes, we do. Yeah. Oh, I don't do that. Obviously, that's not my bag of tricks, but we have specialists that we help with uh, with the social media. We've got some bloggers that we use with people that will start doing some work on our website very shortly. Um, but we've got some people who specialise in inbound marketing strategies and, and building websites that deal with that sort of processing. Um, obviously, accounting is, is such a red market, but it's also a demanding market. Uh, has there been any challenge, uh, recent challenge that you've been able to conquer or is there a trend at the moment um, that's, uh, you know, offering that solution that you can bring forward to clients? Um, trends, uh, there's, there's a big trend now towards, uh, I suppose, online accounting. Um, the, where there are products like Zero and Intuit and MyOb Online and various things like that, which probably for a lot of accountants is a disempowering process because previously accountants, you know, we hold those things precious, we do that, we can charge for that, that's where we make our money. Um, you can use that as an advantage um, by being able to say, you know what, that's kind of like low-hanging fruit or, or least value product, if you want to look at it that way. Let other people do that or set up a bookkeeping business that does that using other people who have those skills and then concentrate on the value add or the areas of work that make a difference to the client. I mean, having the books done is one thing, interpreting the figures and making some management and business decisions and strategic decisions based on the information is probably more important. That's where we kind of come in and we try and mesh those things together. That's probably one of the challenges that's sitting there. The other challenge in the industry, I guess, is there's a lot of accountants. The average age of those accountants is probably 45, 50 plus. Certainly in the chartered accounting space, the demographic is more towards 55 plus getting out of business is really tricky. So I mean, part of where Sphere came from was with two sole traders, Brett and myself, joined together at the start of this financial year to become this one-stop shop, but also so we can leverage off our staff, our premises, and, and working with each other so that it's going to make it easier for us to transition into the, you know, the grey-haired nomad type scenario when I disappear overseas at you know, the age of 70 or something. Now, if there's one business lesson that you've learnt in all your years of business, uh, what would that be and um, what is your point of difference? Oh, business lesson. Um, just keep turning up, I think, is probably the smartest one. Uh, I learnt a long time ago to listen to people and, and probably from my mother to have empathy with people. That's, I guess, a point of difference that we have. Um, we're extremely relaxed. I mean, Brett and I are, are diametrically opposed he's a little bit more traditional I suppose but uh, I am definitely not um, I don't like suits I don't like ties I wear shorts and t-shirts in summer I disappear with boat shoes off and go and play golf or something like that for half of the time um, so it's all about building relationships all 
accountants do that. You have a relationship with your client. We try and take the stuffiness out of it and just you know, chill, turn up, have a beer, let's talk about it, what's your problem, and, and deal with it on a more humane level, I think, rather than just worrying about the numbers. We, our little thing is that we, we are building relationships with our clients, but we're also good with numbers. So the also good with numbers is an afterthought. It's taken for granted. That's why you come to see an accountant. We're all good with numbers. It's us building that relationship with you that lets you grow your business or lets you achieve some of those life goals that you actually want to achieve. That's the important part. And taking time to have a chat with you about what they are, how we can get there, look at you as a whole person, as a whole entity, rather than just, oh, here's a tax return to do. Has there been anyone in business that's inspired you to inject some of the strategies that you impart to your clients? Oh, uh, probably, I don't really know. You've got me on the hop on that one. I don't really think of anyone in particular. I like surrounding myself with people who know more than I do. Um, in a few of the roles I had, one of the, one of the guys I worked with um, pointed out t t to me very kindly that I was the least educated person in the entire organisation that I was running. So my secretary had two um, degrees and a part PhD, so she knew more about the life than I did. Um, so it was interesting to point that out because all I did was to try and bring people together who had really good skills to deliver as a result that we actually had to do. So I guess Richard Branson is, is it probably an idea of someone who does that. He brings a whole heap of people in who know more about stuff than he does and just says, yes, I can do that. We were talking a minute ago about um, social media and marketing. I know diddly about that. I don't want to know about that. I didn't become an accountant to learn marketing. It's just not my interest at all. But it's really cool to have someone down the other end of the table who I can trust and say, you know what, you actually know what you're doing. I can hand you over to my clients and we will get an outcome that will benefit the client and obviously us as a firm. Absolutely. And um, what would you say is the vision for your business moving forward? to build on those relationships with our clients, to increase in size, obviously. Um, I don't plan on retiring till I'm 72, so that's a few more years to go yet, fortunately. Um, so, but just to keep doing what we're doing, to refine what we are doing so that the process of dealing with clients that way and producing the, the outcome that we need to, the tax returns and things, is automatic. So we're building the systems inside the, the business so that everybody, all the staff, all the deal with people the same way and have that empathy and, and making sure that the people we hire think like that and, and moving the people on that don't. So tell us a little bit about the Sphere experience. So client walks through your doors, um, how do you make them feel and, and, and what's, what's the key secret of success for that? The key secret of success is mostly, um, I guess, the director of first impressions, which is Helen, who sits at our front desk, and, and all our staff too, because they all take turns sitting out there when Helen's on break or someone else is away. Um, they know their clients. They know them by name. They say hello. It's, it's the boring stuff about being a human being. You engage with the people who come in the front door. And it's a then, then if it's, oh, how's your day? What's going on? Oh, what are you here for? Great. Take a seat over there. Cup of coffee. How can you help you out? read some of the brochures that we've got there and we'll just pop on down and, and have a chat with you. It's all about having a chat. It's, all, it's not an appointment, it's a chat. We do your tax at the same time, we do your management reports at the same time. We can be formal if we need to and there are some times when you have to drive that process through. Um, but it's all about just making the clients feel like they are valued, that their call's not a waste, that they didn't waste their time turning up, that they're going to get something that they enjoy. And it's not, not quite like going to the dentist and having your teeth extracted when you go to the your accountant. Do you have any advice for the youth uh, trying to get into the space? Uh, if, if you could revisit yourself in the, as a 20 year old man, uh, what would you say to yourself? I'm doing what I said I was going to do as a 20 year old man. I've actually, I'm actually achieving what I said I wanted to do because I, I, I had a plan in my head and I've, I've stuck to it. Um, if you like accounting, it's a great place to be. I love that accounting can give you anything. You can go into almost any industry on this planet as an accountant and have an involvement in it. I've been in government, manufacturing, building and construction uh, as an employee. I've been into high high tech R&D as an employee. 
And I've worked with those businesses and others as either an auditor or an accountant or an advisor or a board manager. So it's one of those industries that gives you the chance to do something you love, presumably accounting with numbers, and do it in almost all walks of life. And you meet some ripping people along the way. It's one of those jobs where you, you multi-skill, where you've got you know, half a dozen different clients on the phone at any one point in time and you have to jump from one industry or one product and one problem at any one time. And, and if you really like that mental agility, it's a great place to be. Has there been any clients that you've been able to, um, that, that stand out that have been a, a you know, great problem solving case study for you of late? We've got a couple in particular. Uh, uh, one, one guy unfortunately went through a situation where his company got into difficulties and we had to work very intensively with him to transition his business, change the shape, change the structure, um, liquidate one entity, create others and do all sorts of things. I mean, that that process took a long period of time. Um, it was a case of uh, uh, removing cancer to create something good. Now, fortunately, he's going from strength to strength. Um, he's repositioned his business. He's making good money again. Um, and he's sort of coming out the other side. So that's a really good success story from my point of view. I mean, it was an extremely painful transaction for him. Um, it involved jettisoning staff, blasting partners to leave, all that sort of thing. So uh, from that sort of view, it, we had to use you know, all our training with, with, with not just the numbers, that was relatively straightforward, but we act as project manager in between lawyers, banks, um, merchant banks, um, unions, all sorts of things to actually get the deal across the line. There was like 13 different banks we had to negotiate with. There was an employee scenario and unpaid leave entitlements, all sorts of things. So it was really, really cool and interesting from my point of view. But that's project managing and holding the client's hands, which is what we do. The other one is uh, a very successful manufacturing company that's also a member of best practice here. And that my part of my success story was to get them to come to best practice um, because they needed direction on how to exit. They had a really fantastic product. I'd been working with them for years and we'd been pushing them to move into thinking about how they're going to exit, how they can maximise their, their profitability and a few other bits and pieces about their business. And, and we've seen them with the benefit of coming to best practice and, and more um, uh, intense involvement with them, um, virtually moving through the process where they now actually know what they want to achieve. There is a success plan there, whether that comes off this year, next year or the year after is kind of a, a their decision now. But there's a whole process in place where I can see this business clearly moving from strength to strength. And we now, rather than just do their figures once a year, we go to their board meeting once a month and we're a strategic advisor to that process. So that's really fulfilling. But that's at the top end of the scale. I've also got other clients who I love to deal with who are just a mum and dad have done a tax return and I've seen them go from starting out in life to having kids to now being successful in their roles or, or starting up a small business and achieving some of the things that they want to do in life. It doesn't, you don't have to just have big business clients to be, feel successful. I've got some lovely people who come in once or twice a year and we spend you know, 25 minutes talking about what trip I went on or what trip they went on last year, where they've gone on holidays, what their grandkids are doing, most of whom I can remember, and five minutes doing their tax return. You know, it's just, it's more of a social chat than a tax return, but that's just the way it is. Absolutely. Well, it's so wonderful that you've been able to sell clarity and also uh, solve problems in people's lives. So where do people find a little bit more about you? Where do they go? We're based in Mornington, so obviously you can you can Google us if you feel like you'd like to do that. We're in the phone book, obviously the boring old way. Um, but probably the web, our website www.thespheregroup.com.au is probably the best place to find us. That'll give you an idea of, of where we are and how we do business as well. Thank you very much for your time. No worries, thank you. Cheers.